We've decided this is a team building exercise because we're actually all lost in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll but find our way out. <laughs> ah! Help! Oh, we're lost in the woods. <laughs> set up at Aldridge yeah, Hill. Yeah, Aldridge Hill in the New Forest and I'm just preparing some veg to go with our dinner. We've got a ready meal tonight because it's just quick and easy so I'm just adding some veg to it while we get set up. So yeah. Yeah, yeah sounds pretty good out here. I'll show you. I should you. show you outside. Outside. All the animals, well, if there is any horses, we've had a few down past. So, here we are. In the trees, in the woods. There's a horse on the side there. If you can just see it through there somewhere. Yeah, quite a good setup. So, yeah, we've got all set up here at Aldridge Hill. I think it's £15 a night, £12 a night. Um, yeah, just camp where you like. And there's a lot of free roaming animals here. No electric, um, there's water, taps, bins, toilet emptying. That's about it, I think. But yeah, it's a good little site. My love, does duct tape belong in the home? Yes, it does. I know it's your anniversary break, but I don't think we need duct tape. Do, do need duct tape. I'll take your mouth shut. <laughs> Thanks very much. Keep going on. Cable's coming on nicely with our stickers, so if anyone's got any stickers they want to send us. Quite a few on there. So yeah, right, let's sit down, have our dinner. And we'll pick you up a bit later on. Well, 
We seem to have some new neighbours. Yeah. Look. Look. Actually, we've got some neighbours. We've got some, a big cow this time. Yeah. Yeah. We have we have neighbours for dinner. <laughs> Look at the size of him. He's a big old. Well, it's a girl. Oh, is it a girl? Yeah, it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. She's enjoying. She's the grass. she's a big old girl. <laughs> is there another one coming? Yeah. See that? Is. You get surprise guests. Oh, there's another one. I think. Surprise guests for dinner. Any more around this way? Let's have a look. This campsite's amazing. Look, there's one there. A brown cow. So, Aldridge, if you want to have some animals visit you for dinner, come to Aldridge Hill at the New Forest. And there's another one. Another one of their friends coming round for dinner. Well, it's definitely cow time. Obviously, they must be going back for their dinner. Some baby ones. This is a baby cow. Another baby cow, he's not too sure he doesn't want to come this way. There's a big old one down there, look. <laughs> well, there's, look that must, might be the daddy one behind the baby ones. Oh, yeah, there's a little white one hiding around the corner. Go round. He doesn't want to see me. Look. Moo. This one looks pregnant. Might have some babies tomorrow. Outside our motorhome. Yeah, oh. nice big pictures. Well, picture where you like. There's no pictures. Big. Okay, are you taking the camera? Yeah, while well you check the vegetables. Dinner's nearly ready. <laughs> They're all heading this way, so there must be somewhere that they go for the evening. So they're all walking through the campsite. So cute. Taking pictures at the same time. Right, I better go back and have my dinner because my vegetables and stuff in the oven will burn to have to come out and see the lovely animals this evening. The sky in the distance is lovely as well, but I'm not sure if you can see it from here. Um, as you can't zoom in on these GoPros, so I might have to take a shot on my phone. Beautiful. A little bridge to get over here. All the pretty purple flowering. There's horses in the distance, but I'm not sure if you can see them. Right, let's head back and have dinner. I was just telling everybody that I need to go back because my dinner will be burned. <laughs> 
the horses and cows can wait till tomorrow. Right, how are we doing in here? Do I need to dish it up? Done You've done it! What's that? <laughs> I can cook. What have we got? Oh, I've got chicken korma ready meal in the oven with broccoli. And what curry have you got? Prawn red Thai curry. Prawn red Thai curry. So yeah, like I said, it's just a quick one tonight as we've just arrived later and getting set up. So tomorrow we'll be having something on the Kadak. Thursday and it's our wedding anniversary yeah. so we're just having a nice relaxing few days in the new forest at these lovely parks which the um, horses and cows we've noticed yeah, now cows roam, roam free <laughs> so we'll take you around and just have a little yeah. wander around um, how many of these parks are there? there's 11, 11 of these campsites in the new forest um, some are like this with no electric um, just sort of water and water disposal, toilet disposal, and then there's some with electric and proper pictures and stuff. Yeah, there's quite a lot in the yeah. area. Yeah, the 11 whole of them. The whole of the new forest, so. so it's really nice, and they're reasonably priced yeah. as well. I think this was 15... 15 pound a night. 15 pound a night. Yeah. Look, so there's look, some little friends. Here's a couple friends. of our friends here. Just sort of blocking the road, hello. Good morning. They just Thank sort you of... for letting us stay in your house. <laughs> in your area. Bless as you them. can see, it's quite a... It's a lovely sign. Yeah. And it's all heathland over that way. So that's the edge of the campsite in this area. And there's more horses. And you've got your Elson Point there. Yeah, pretty pretty primitive facilities, but that's all you need. And your bins here. Fresh water, water dump, and your Elson Point. And, and your then bins, here. bins. And a, a bike as and well. And a bike at the bin. So that's pretty good. <laughs> Um, yeah, we had a lovely, peaceful night's sleep last yeah, night, didn't we? so quiet. It's Even though there's cute. loads of kids on this site at the minute. But yeah, it's all spaced out brilliantly. Yeah. So you can even camp um, over there in the wooded yeah. area as well, which is lovely. Yeah. Um, take you These are all there. pictures here. Yeah, this like... is pictures. There was a van parked there last night, just over there. So as long as, you, as, long as you're six metres apart, from your neighbour, that's all that matters. And this bit sort of like goes into a wooded area, which little... you can also camp in as well. Yeah. And there is a little river that goes all the way through, and um, it gets bigger as you get through the site, doesn't it? Yeah. So we just go through this way, show you. Through the trees. As we watch where we walk, because there's a few little presents from the animals. And the horses. <laughs> but yeah, it's lovely. Lovely setting for a campsite. Yeah, it's really nice. Back to basics, <laughs> back to nature. Yeah. Oh, we've got another oh, look. Another one of the locals is Beautiful here. Beautiful white horse here. Yeah. Oh, look. There is. They ask you not to feed or touch the animals, which is good, because obviously they're getting their feed from the grass. And I believe they're all, all the animals are owned by people anyway. So they go back to where they come from. And the keeper on the site, like the um, warden, yeah. um, goes round and checks that they're all alright. Um, we've seen him going round this morning, haven't we? Yeah. I think we're and stuck in. The ankle there. Be careful. Oh look, look, he's, I think he's a bit scared of us. Go this way. Which way? Um, it's we... better to walk round there. Yeah, okay. Oh, there's another, there's another one. another one there. They just appear from everywhere. Look. <laughs> There's another one. We walk that way. Can you see them well on the camera? Yeah. yeah. I'm just going to take a picture as well. Okay. So yeah, it's well. These sites are well worth visiting. And apparently they do a seasonal pitch for the summer season. Um, this site actually shuts on, on Monday. They're fighting, look. Them two were just having a little fight. I got that, I got a picture. Did you? <laughs> Go that way. He's going to take a picture of us with them. Hayley's taking pictures. Shall 
Because you all know she loves her Instagram account. <laughs> anyway, yes. They, they, you can have seasonal pitch on here. I think it's a thousand pounds for 20 weeks, but you have to get off every every three or four weeks. Days. Every 21 days, yeah, you have to get off days. get off the site for a week, which is fine. Um, so it's not seasonal, as in you you have a pitch constantly. But yeah, it's quite a good place. Obviously, you'd have to be totally off grid capable to last for three weeks. Yeah, just pitch your pitch wherever you want to pitch. We're going to go around on our bikes in a bit, yeah. so we won't go too far. Oh, there's some cows down there. Should we go to the cows? Yeah, if you want to. Oh yeah. Um, tells oh, look, you there. The horse is coming through the water. Oh yeah, but this tells you here, like, so all units at least six meters apart, all, all dogs on these, and no campfires. campfires. So I see you're allowed your cat acts and stuff. Here's some Hello. more locals. We found the cows now. Yeah. There's quite a few of them. Some more locals. They're yeah. quite big as well. Yeah, but they are quite big. I don't want to stop running some at me. Some of them we think are pregnant as well. Yeah, some one saw. And that was a horse we saw last night. Oh yes, it was a horse. Looks back, but oh, look, there's a calf there. There's a little calf, another calf. And there's some more over this way. I can hear some. Yeah, there's more over that way. Should we go around. through there? No. Why, they won't hurt you. No, they're just. Oh, I'm scared of him. Yeah, I'm not. He's scared. He's scared him. I didn't mean to. I was just taking a picture of him. Yeah, a little white one there. He's yeah. having a little fight. Oh, a bit of headbutting going on. Yeah. Hmm. We think that this brown one isn't very happy with the black one. Yeah. There's like a little stand. Oh, there's one coming towards me now. I don't like it. You don't like it? He's not going to do anything. He is. He's going to attack me. It's not. I don't like them. They're very big. <laughs> Doesn't want to show me. He's walking right near it. Yeah, but I don't like it. They're off on their journey. <laughs> Where are they all off? <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Sean and Nikki. <laughs> Our lovely friends. Oh, thank you very much. You all right? We just had a little wander around. Saw quite a lot of cows down that end, but Ashley's not too sure of them. One of them was like heading for him. He was like, oh, I don't know about that. Oh, we haven't seen any with horns yet, have we? Yeah. Did you go to the river? Yeah, just down there. But we haven't gone too far because we think we'll do that on the bikes in a bit. lovely little park we've just cy cycled to this part of the forest and it's really lovely down here if you can see bridge over there lovely place for a picnic nice and quiet a little ride on the scooter and the bike. How are you getting on with your bike? I love it. Yeah? Apart from my legs hurt. And then your little crash. Yeah. Ali's just had a little crash. Basically, I've got 
got caught in some thick stones and my wheel wedged down the side with some concrete and stones and then I fell off it and I've hurt my leg, it's quite bruised but you didn't make the ice up before we left oh no so I don't know what it's going to be cold flannel I suppose yeah, cold flannel will work, won't it? There's a deer in front oh, of us. Yeah. Sean, look in front. Oh, wow. Look, there's a deer. Yeah. Oh god, this looks dangerous for me. You'll be alright, just ride over it, Haley. Straight forward, straight My wheels are the same size as Gats. Don't go over one of them on a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's something you don't see every day a deer crossing in front of you. So we don't really know where we're going, but. We're going there, <laughs> heading this way. This is hardcore riding. <laughs> Through the woods. We've decided this is a team building exercise because we're actually all lost in the woods. <laughs> But we'll but find our way it, out. It'll make a great YouTube disaster film. <laughs> well, it would do that, wouldn't it? <laughs> yeah. Help, we're lost in the woods. Help, we're lost in the woods <laughs> on our hitway bikes. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find our way. Hopefully we're not barred wide in with the fence. But yeah, we're getting there. It's pretty though. <laughs> I think Sean's found a path up ahead. That's good. This is a bit rough around here. Oh, you're joking. Found it! Found it. <laughs> oh, bloody hell, we need a cream tea after this. I don't know about that. Pint of beer, I think. <laughs> we need a pint after this, Sean. Sorry. You deserve a pint after this, you know. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> that? That's another disaster, you know. Just oh, no. <laughs> ah! oh, we lost in the woods. <laughs> lost in the woods. That's so, the point like that. which way is it though? <laughs> Left way, or right? <laughs> no. Which way? You have a look up there, Ash, and then. I mean, my hair's getting messy, Nelly. <laughs> I'm getting hot. I think. I'm well, hoping that doesn't take us back out the road again. <laughs> We're not very organised. We didn't bring water. We didn't bring anything we might need. Any cabin essentials? No, we've no cabin essentials. <laughs> they haven't got their phones. We have got no flares. It's a disaster. We've got baggy shorts. It's a what? What's he found? Oh, well done. <laughs> My seats are gone skew with. Is yours alright? You comfy? That's, a, no, that's, that's not even striking. There's nothing comfy about that out there. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to brush my teeth out. We've decided that we're going in that direction. Is that right, Ash? Yeah, that way. For, well, it's either going to be the campsite or, yeah, whatever. So a good like, bike ride through the new forest, or through some of the new forest. Got a bit lost, as you've probably seen from the footage. But pretty impressed with having a new bike. The Hitway 6S. Definitely going to be a key for that one. But yeah, look, standing out there. Horses. Sun's out. Well, I'm just going to give you a little review of our new Hitway BK6S folding e-bike. 
I have to say we used this yesterday, or Hayley used this yesterday and we're very impressed with it. Possibly out of all the e-bikes we've tried, this is the most suitable for Hayley and probably for motorhome, caravan or van life as such. First of all, I'll just show you how small it folds. We've got quite a small garage in our motorhome, but we can get it in here folded up. I don't know if you can see. I'll switch the light on. Might be able to see it in there. Yeah, folds up quite nicely. Took the saddle off. Turtle has a springy seat post, which gives you a bit more suspension. Right, I'll get it out and show you. So this is how the bike is folded up. Quite small, this is how it comes in the box. All you have to do is put these pedals on and attach these to the top thing. But it unfolds very easily. Like that. Right. And then it literally That is it. Put the seat in. Oh, it's not the lamp. Pedal slip out. And the ball's up to the desired. Level. There you have it. So the Hitway BK6S has 20 inch wheels and they're 3 inch wide so it gives you plenty of grip. Has front light, adjustable front handlebars. As I said the springy saddle which also flips forward so you can remove the battery which you put it on to there, that's a nice battery. Then you can take it out and charge it up in your house or when you're, when you're parked up. It has seven speed Shimano gears on the back. Nice back rest, it has a back brake light as well. Very spongy saddle. And then you have the control panel. Then you have the control panel which shows your three assist speeds, the mile an hour, your battery and we've done seven miles on it so far. Or you can use it just pedaling, no assist. Um, it is limited to 15 miles an hour, obviously being a UK spec bike and it has no throttle. There's your Shimano gear levers. Yeah. It's a great bike. Also, in the box, you get a lock, a pump, your charger, the manuals, and a little multi tool, which is quite handy. As I said, it takes no putting together, literally, you just have to put the saddle in once you've unpacked it and screw on the pedals, which is quite good. Good little touch given a lock which you can attach to your saddle stem and also a pump. We've had to pump the paddles up a bit, pump the tires up a bit, but yeah, it's a good little bike. The pedal assist on it, it just picks up straight away, which is amazing. Even for my 120 kilos, I rode it about four miles yesterday on the road with no problem at all, up hills downhills, sort of sits at 15 miles an hour. Yeah, we're very impressed with it. It's very well made. Um, I think you can get a rack for the front there. Obviously LED light on the front and front suspension, which uh, the saddle suspension as well. It makes for a very good ride. I think this bike 
retails about £900, but at the minute on their website, I think it's about £650, plus I'll have a discount code which will be in the description. Um, but it's well worth a look. I think, as I said, out of all the bikes we've reviewed recently, this is probably my favourite, and definitely Hayley's favourite for a smaller bike. And like I say, it folds up nicely to go in the back of the motorhome, or you could put it on a bike rack because the tyres aren't too wide. So, yeah, great little bike. Also has mechanical disc brakes, front and rear. It's a 250 watt motor, which is enough to power you along. And this is a 36 volt, 12 amp hour battery. There's a charging port there for your charger. As I said, you can take it on and off. You can check here. We're down to two bars at the minute. We'll just get that charged. Yeah, very impressed with this bike. I'd like to thank Heatway for sending it to us to test. Um, yeah, and hopefully in the future we can test some more of their bikes. But that is, yeah, this one is definitely worth a look at if you're in the market for an e-bike. Our friends have the smaller Hitways, which they were out on with us yesterday. Um, with smaller wheels, 14 inch wheels, but these, this one definitely is worth it, I think, personally. Or almost considering buying another one, so that's how much we like it. We're not just saying it just because we were gifted it to test, so yeah. But I would recommend if you're looking for e bikes, watch some videos on YouTube, there's plenty out there, do a bit of research. Um, and ask people who've ridden them questions because obviously I'll answer any questions if you've put them in the comments about the bike or if you see me, come and have a go on it. Don't forget to catch us next week for part two of more fun and laughter in the new forest. Bye for now. Let's go, let's go. Let's wrap it up and hit the road. I just got an awesome vibe. Striking the wind up, oh, snow. Liberty's on my mind.